Hey, this is Charles Peachock. We're going to look at getting your files over from your Mac to your iPad that runs the Audio 8 Pro app. Uh, so the files for Audio 8 Pro are going to be living in an application called Files. So on the iPad, if you look, there's a icon on the bottom left that looks like a folder. Well, that's where all your music and photos and video are going to be living. So we need to add the media to these folders so Audio Ape can see them. So the easiest way that I found if you're using a Mac is to go for uh, AirDrop. AirDrop is wirelessly sending these files from one device to another. So you can select multiple files. Now if you're sh sending AirDrop files they do have to be all the same type. So you can play MP3s or WAVs but you can't mix and add both and try and send them over AirDrop. So make sure it's just one file type and then what you do is you right click and then you say uh, share, then you choose AirDrop, and then you should see your iPad uh, up. Now make sure again that both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are on and that uh, AirDrop is enabled. So then you go ahead and hit iPad and you'll see them zip over to the iPad and the iPad will ask which application you wanna use to open these new files. And if you say Audio 8 Pro, they now actually get deposited into the Audio 8 folder, as you'll see three music items now and now you have access to them within the app. So let's look at actually adding photos and videos. So for photos you send them over here and let's go ahead and pick up uh, this is still music under my pictures. Uh, let me just send over some seasonal things. So let me send over these two pictures. Now the problem with sending things to the iPad now is Audio Ape cannot open them directly. They will actually go right to your photos. iOS, the iPad, has a uh, default behavior to open any photos or videos right in photos, unfortunately. But we can still get them to where they need to go. So what you'll do is you'll go in and hit select and pick pictures that you want to send over to your application. So once you have a couple of pictures selected, and then you want to do the share icon, which is in the bottom left, the square with the arrow up, and then instead of doing airdrop, because they're already been airdropped onto this, you're going to go to your folders, um, files, I should say. So shared, uh, save to files right there. And then you're going to pick on your iPad, audio ape, pictures, save. And now they've been moved there so you can use them. And the same thing happens with videos. They'll open in this thing. So let me select a couple things here. Let me select a promo reel, Tonight Show, and Disney. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit the share icon and you will be able to hit save to files. And then you will go to iPad, Audio 8 Pro, video, save. And now I've moved music, photos, and videos all into the iPad and put them in the right folders so the app can now read them. So now when you go into the app and close out all these, when you go into the app and you create a new playlist, Esther, then what we can do when we add media, you'll now see under the documents, you have those three songs that you dropped over. And then under pictures, you have a couple pictures you can use. And then under video, some promo and other uh, videos. And you hit done, and now they're all here. Hit create. And now you have created a show that has multiple medias, uh, photos, video, and picture. But that's how to get your resources onto your iPad. So that way you can use them in the Audio Ape app. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. You can also transfer things just by plugging in a jump drive uh, directly into the iPad and accessing it that way. Um, there's many ways to get it on here, but you need to get them into this file system and store all your music, photos, and videos here. That way we can easily access them and they never get lost. All right, this is Charles Peachock. We'll see you at showtime.